In this video, we provide the solution to question number five for practice exam number two for Math 1220, in which case we have to determine how large do we need to choose the uh, number n so that the approximation using the trapezoidal rule on the integral from zero to one of cosine x squared dx is accurate to be within one ten thousandth. Uh, now remember, when it comes to these things like the error, with respect to the trapezoid rule, it has the upper bound, uh, for which case we have that k times b minus a cubed over 12 times n squared. Uh, we want this number to be small. We want this number to be less than 10, one ten thousandth. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, so the b and the a, these of course are the bounds of the integral right there, one minus zero to the third. So that's actually gonna vis disappear, right? One to the third power is just one. Um, we get this 12 times n squared. That number on the bottom we have to look for. That k, this is one of the hardest parts of the problem. Now, fortunately, a very good hint is provided to us. Our function, cosine of x squared, it, we note here that the second derivative is equal to negative 2 sine of x squared minus 4x squared cosine of x squared. And notice that sine and cosine always range between 1 and negative 1. So it turns out that we need to find an upper bound for that number. And using properties of sine and cosine, this can never be worse than um, a negative 1. Same thing here. So this number can actually can be no worse than um, 6. That's not necessarily the best bound you can do, but it's a pretty good bound. So we're going to use k equals 6 in our calculation. That's what the hint tells us. That's really nice. So we can simplify this a little bit better. 6 goes into 12 two times. The 1 cubed on the top will just become a 1. So this will simplify to be 1 over 2 n squared. And we need this to be less than or equal to 1 ten thousandths, so 1 over 10 to the 4th, like so. Uh, so which case then, if we reciprocate, we need that 2 n squared is greater than or equal to 10 to the fourth, like so. Um, divide both sides by two, you get n squared is greater than or equal to um, 5,000. And then take the square root. Uh, we need that n to be greater than the square root of 5,000, which that's like approximately 70 point something, right? Uh, but the point is we, have, we need an integer, so we get to round up to the next integer. So the smallest integer that we can guarantee um, will give us an accuracy within four decimal places would be 71 again rounding up to the next integer uh, because if you're less if, if you're if you round down to 70 you're potentially even though you're close you're potentially too small so we have to round it up to 71 for this one